GST etc. Uh, three significant issues is uh, the breakdown of trust to cooperative federalism between the state and union government, the expiry of the revenue guarantee that protected the state's revenue and recent Supreme Court judgment highlighted that GST council's recommendations are not binding on the states form the backdrop to the council meeting. Uh, cooperation between the state and the union uh, cannot be just an economic compact but a uh, broader political uh, ethic. Supreme Court recently observed that it is in the national interest to have both the cooperative and co competitive federalism. Hence, the GST Council's decisions are not binding on the state. This means that the states had and uh, continue to have the right to either com comply fully with the council's recommendation or modify them as they deem necessary. This has opened the window for the states to override the fundamental GST premise, one, one nation, one tax, if pushed to the corner states may now uh, use the Supreme Court rulings as a shield. Other fulcrum of GST was the tangible mechanism of guaranteed revenues for the states. When the GST was mooted amid uh, lofty promises in 2017, skeptical state government extracted a five-year insurance from center of a minimum revenue guarantee. Uh, uh, the economic promises and state's revenues were protected through this guarantee. The ideal solution to salvage and fix the GST is to extend the compensation guarantee. The tenure of extension guaranteed uh, rate of revenue growth can be uh, mutually agreed upon. Mutually agreed upon by states and union. However, the union government is not a uh, desirous of extending the uh, compensation guarantee, it app apprehension the reluctance are un understandable given its deteriorating fiscal situation foisted by high global crude oil prices, rising fertilizer imports and expanding welfare expenditure. It is no secret that nearly all states uh, irrespective of their political affiliation want an uh, extension of the compensation guarantee. At this juncture of GST regime, it is perhaps wiser to extend the compensation guarantee and hope to obviate uh, its need through beyond GST revenues than to further erode the state's confidence. Sacrificing a percentage uh, point of half, point or half of the fiscal deficit next year by extending the compensation guarantee is worth the potential uh, benefits of well-being, uh, well-functioning GST. A union government should commit to the state that it will not resort to cesses and surcharges that are outside the shareable pool of revenues. It must resolve to honor the revenue guarantee commitment to the state. It must to respect or uphold the true spirit of not just fiscal federalism but political and constitutional federalism too. Democratically elected state government in India do not have a sole power for both direct and indirect taxation which is unheard of in, in any, any other federal democracy. Contrary to the technocrat uh, red Reto rhetoric. It is not just the flawed implementation that is responsible for GST economic failure. GST was always an economic uh, square peg in India's federal round hole. Regardless, we are now far down the GST path and must strive to make it work to avoid GST exit. Next article that we are moving into is all about a true government complaint YouTube removes new, new um, Moosewala song. It raises multiple issues including as its name suggests the under construction Sadlaj Yamuna link canal that has been a bone of connection between Punjab and Haryana for the past four decades. Um, next uh, article that we are moving into is all about uh, who are G7, uh, whose uh, summit in Germany India has uh, been invited to. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Germany to attend the G7. Uh, G7 is an informal forum of leading industrialized nation, Canada. Um, informal forum of leading industrialized nations like Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, UK. US representative of the European unions are always present in the annual meeting of G7 head of the state and government Germany holds G7 presidency in 2022 G German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has invited India along with Argentina Indonesia Senegal South Africa to 2022 submit as a partner countries international world health organization world trade organization IMF world bank are also participating in the G7 submit um, in 1998, the group of eight was constituted as Russia became the member. Of, uh, member. Uh, Russia has thrown out of the group after its violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity in 2014. G7 members. Uh, numbers. Uh, as of 2022, G7 countries make up 10% of the world's population, 31% of global GDP and 21% of global carbon dioxide emission according to Submit website. China and India, the two most populous countries with the among largest GDP figures in the world, are not group, part of the grouping. G7 countries also had a high level of gross debt, especially Japan 263 percentage of GDP, Italy 151 percentage and US 133 percentage. Uh, next article that we are moving is all about why women is an um, woman why woman is less than 
men study uh, key in hormone uh, this article talks about compared to men women have a significantly lower incidence of severe mm, psoriasis a skin condition that causes rashes and leading to itchiness uh, underlying reason for the sex difference that made uh, men more prone to this condition however uh, that uh, remained unclear so far now team of researchers has found that female hormone uh, estro estradiol suppresses uh, psoriasis uh, next article that talks about why sanctions are flagging this article is all about um, in february 23 the day before russia invaded ukraine um, uh, european union um, council had adopted a six round of sanctions to impose a clear economic and political cost on the vladimir putin government to cripple the kremlin's ability to the finance the war western governments including us and uk have cut down cut off major russian bank from shift the interbank messaging system to enable the cross border payments they have uh, frozen some uh, dollar 315 billion out of uh, 550 billion of the central bank of the russian federation foreign exchange reserve uh, held in currencies and gold within the jurisdiction as on january 1 out cost russia's gdp to contract up to 15 percentage this year wiping out last 50 15 years of economic gains more than four um, more than four months in, in into the war the story hasn't quite followed the west is um, predicted script the sanctions initially led to a free fall of uh, russian ruble for, from about 76 to us dollar in mid february to a low of 148.3 on march 7 but as ruble bounced back to 75 to 76 levels towards the week um, second week of april mm, and is currently um, trading at an over 7 year high levels of 53.4 with the ruble appreciating um, uh, inflation trending downwards rather upwards predicted by white house Uh, why do sanctions appears not to have had desired effect the main reason is the dependence especially european union countries on energy import imports from russia um, in 2021 russia accounted for 27 25.7 percentage of petroleum oil and 44.5 percentage of natural gas and 52.3 percentage of coal imported by 27 nation bloc european union decided to phase out the imports of crude oil and refined products from russia over 6 and 8 months respectively temporary exemption are granted to the countries such as hungary slovakia which import uh, crude oil by pipeline and have viable uh, alternative options this was preceded by an outright prohibition of uh, russian coal imports from august european union for now uh, has not announced any ban on natural gas import from russia this even as a russian state owned uh, energy giant gazprom has cut down the supplies uh, cut down gas supplies to nearly dozen of european union um, countries including germany france italy over the past few weeks uh, have china and india had a role to play in this situation it is significant that china and india have emerged as a major buyer of russian fossil fuels uh, uh, but among the individual countries china 16.6 billion euros has surpassed germany as the largest importer from russia Uh, at number 9 is india its import during this period are valued at 3.7 million euros uh, billion euros so while the european union is trying hard to wean itself of uh, russian energy moscow has aggressively diverged its export towards china and india china was the world's top importer of crude oil in 2021 with india ranked third behind the us in uh, may may russia overtook saudi arabia to be the china's leading crude crude supplier in 2021 2022 russia was the ninth biggest Mm, uh, exporter to india however by may it had jumped seven positions to display saudi arabia and become number two after only uh, iraq as russia in- has increased efforts to find alternative markets and the world is figuring out the way to trade with trade with it moreover it isn't uh, just a few fossil fuels in comparing uh, in coming months one can expect russia to step up export of wheat and fertilizers being also the world's uh, biggest supplier of palladium and nickel which are uh, uh, central inputs in uh, emission control system and electric vehicle batteries respectively besides ferro alloys chromium and vanadium required for steel production make it easier for russia to cope up with the sanctions that it is for cuba iran and north korea next article is all about coat uh, coat hanger as a symbol for abortion rights 
this article talks about verdict being overturned by us supreme court the overturned verdict had allowed the american woman the right to leave a legal abortion what it stands for the symbol derives from the expression of court hanger abortion which means an a safe unsafe abortion it refers to the practice of using the object to induce an abortion as with the many other household objects or homemade herbal con con concoctions in a, in a, in the unavailability of safe or legal abortion access court hanger operation like other abortion performed in non hospital settings can endanger life court hanger therefore serves as a uh, reminder of the pre roe era uh, roe era which uh, symbolizes a last resort for women who have been denied legal abortion services even when abortions are made illegal they continue uh, but in ways they pose a risk to human women's health and bodies Uh, next article is nepal abandoned uh, partnership with us troops and how its army waited in and this article talks about nepal recently had to abandon the last uh, last minute a plan to sign the states partnership program with the us asserting it it will not accept a deal that goes against nepal's non aligned foreign policy the widely expressed fear has uh, giving legitimate entry to us forces would have dangerous uh, security implications for nepal the criticism has been on three concerns uh, that it would uh, mean nepal aligning militarily um, with the us uh, that india which clo- close links with the nepal army would not um, like the us presence in the, of this nature and that it would provoke china to revitalize in uh, some ways or other nepal and the us signing uh, dollar 500 million grants of millennium challenge corporation nepal compact after the us threat nepal voting against russia in the un us deputy secretary of state uh, Zaya Ujra is visiting a Tibet refuge camp in Nepal. Uh, the changes, the political 2005 and 6 changes, the army has been largely quiet all these years until this assertive reaction against the program. Um, and also, China, India, China has not uh, it responded to the government's decision. Uh, a defense minister official said China has taken up the issue several times, but it should be happy now as domestic politics forced Dubai to call call it call it off. Uh, next article talks about Roe Wade overturned. A White House seeks to take on state over abortion pill. Um, uh, President Joe Biden administration indicated it will seeks to prevent the states from banning a pill used for medical abortion in the light of Supreme Court. Uh, Approved. Approval of Miss Mice Preston, one of the pills used for medical abortion, preempts state restrictions, meaning federal authority overrides any state action. Um, Vatican activist can be selective on uh, pro-life issues. Uh, anti-abortion activist should be concerned with other issues that can threaten life, such as easy access to guns, poverty, missing maternity ma- mortality, maternal ma- maternity mortality rates. Vatican's editorial said. Uh, mm, Uh, who oppose abortion could not pick choose pro life issues as being for life always for example mean, mean, means being concerned if mortality rates of women due to motherhood increases roman catholic church teaches the abortion is murder because life begins at the moment of conception Uh, next article is all about G- G7 plans to counter China influence. A group of seven leading democratic economies, G7 for- formally launched a global infrastructure and investment partnership aimed at pushing China's influence in the developing world. G7 program responds to China's so-called Belt and Road Initiative, um, which um, Western officials have long argued traps receiving countries in debt within uh, with investment that benefits the China China more than their host. White House says initiative. seeks to leverage us dollar 2 billion in us investment over the next 5 years along with a similar amount of g7 uh, among with the first among the first initiatives are us dollar 2 billion solar farm investment in angola in southwest africa us dollar 3 to 320 million for hospital construction in ivory coast uh this is what all about next article is related to gst council to wet uh, uh, verification plan for high risk taxpayers uh, this article talks about verification after uh, registration for high risk taxpayers under gst along with the use of geo tagging and physical verification uh, recommendation to levy 28% gst on online gambling casinos and horse racing are expected to be discussed in the upcoming gst council meeting minister ajit pawar also recommended mandatory biometric authentication of high risk taxpayers along uh, with the use of artificial intelligence to prepare reports uh, detailing risky behavior of such taxpayers meghalaya chief minister conrad sangma has recommended that no distinctions should be made in these activities merely on ground of that activity is a game of skill or a game of ch- chance of 
are of chance of both as per the estimate shared by the federation of indian fantasy sports to the government of uh, gom um, online gambling sector's mark, market size is around 34600 crore it has also suggested that online gambling gaming gaming should uh, online gaming should be taxed at a full value of consideration including contest entry fee paid by the players on participating in the game for casinos um, gom is uh, learned to have recommended that the tax would be levied on the full face value of the chip coin purchased from the casinos by a player that's all uh, if you like the video please do share like comment and subscribe if you have any doubt please uh, let me know in the comment section thank you have a nice day